Hi, my name is Eric Nazario uh, out of Tampa, Florida, and this is my 1993 Nissan Sentra. I started driving back in 97 is when I got my, my license, but obviously friends of mine had gotten their license before that. And we all gotten into cars around the same time. Started with simple stuff like lowering cars on springs, adding in cold air intake systems. We had Acura Integras, Honda Preludes, Nissan Sentras back then as well. I had gotten my first Nissan Sentra. It was a 91, that was, that was in 1999. It was fun, peppy five-speed SER, and uh, it lasted me about a year before I blew the engine. Uh, when I blew the engine on it, didn't get back into another Sentra until I got this one in 2014. And I've owned uh, probably like 20 to 25 cars, most of them being Nissan, and then recently I got more into Toyotas. The reason why I chose the B13 is I, it has very classic body lines. It's kind of like the E30. It's got, it's, just, it's a very unique look. Uh, something that I, I, was, I think that 10 years from now, it's still gonna look just as nice as it did back in 91. So besides that, uh, just the, the potential, it's, it's such a light car, weighs 2,350 pounds. With just 300 horsepower, it just, it, it, it's a blast to drive. You can drag them, street them, it's, it's just, it's fun. It's a fun car to have. I found the car, it's funny actually, what happened was I was, uh, I headed all the way to Sebring, which is about three hours from here to go look at a, a 240SX. And uh, the lady that I was supposed to buy the car from sold it out from underneath me before I, I got there. Uh, so on the way back home, I was scrolling through Craigslist and this one came up for sale. I saw it at midnight and I texted the guy and I said, listen, I want to buy your car. If I can be there first thing in the morning, he said, sure. Yeah, be here by eight o'clock. So I got there, bought it, no questions asked. And here it is today. When I first got it, it was bone stock. Um, my first modification was uh, coilovers. Then got some XAT wheels, 17 inch wheels. Did a full paint job on it. Uh, it was a GA16 DE when I got it. I was planning on turboing the GA16, but then I actually bought some Jim Wolf cams for the GA16 and installing them, I cracked one and I said, I'm done with this. I'm gonna just go SR20. So ordered the SR20 engine. Uh, a GTI RECU and a GTI R mass airflow sensor. It has a uh, O2 induction manifold, 750cc injectors, the GTX 2871 turbo, HKS blow off valve, three inch uh, intercool tubing all the way around. It's got a big intercooler, a free flowing J pipe with a three inch down pipe and a three inch exhaust all the way down, a Mishimoto radiator and a Mishimoto oil cooler as well a custom made oil filter relocation kit with an MPI oil relocation block. It's at about 400 now and about 360 foot pounds of torque. Um, it's not as fast as it looks. <laughs> That's probably one, it's, yeah, it, it's, it's fast enough, but there's just not a lot of options for this car. You have to get a little more creative with certain things. Like the front lip is for an 89 Civic wagon. The rear lip is for a 95 Civic. The side skirts are from G20. The hood, which is for B13, I had to order the, the scoops uh, and the ducts and install them myself. And also the, the spoilers in the back were for R32 Skyline, so I had to adapt those as well. So that makes the car really unique and it gives it a good aero setup as well. So the interior, I did a pair of Caro seats in it. It's got a red carpet with a red Nismo floor mats. The back seat is from a 99 G20. Custom Recaro door card inserts on it. Nismo titanium shift knob. Uh, Nissan March super turbo steering wheel. It's, uh, it's something that you don't see very often, especially because March super turbos are not very common. So it's, it's, a, it's a very unique. <laughs> He's like, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> the suspension setup right now, coilovers are drag and drift, 42-way adjustable 
front and rear uh, ST sway bars, ultra racing, fender braces. The front brakes are from an R34 GTT, 310 millimeter, slotted and drilled rotors, and the rear brakes are from a 95 Maxima. The wheels and tires are uh, Nismo LMGT4, 17 by 8.5 in the front and 17 by 9.5 in the rear, and the tires right now are Federal RSRR. And the weirdest question I get asked about the car, obviously, because it doesn't really look like any 91 Sentra that's out there or B13, I get asked, what is it? People have asked me anywhere from, is it a Skyline? Um, they've seen the front emblem and asked if it was a Samsung. So it's just, you, you get a lot of weird questions if you don't know exactly what it is. I'm looking right now to see if I can do a nice fender flare setup, nothing too tacky or overdone. Long term, I mean, if I really want to take it crazy, I can do like an SR20 VE head, and I'd love to do some kind of an all-wheel drive setup. That would be fantastic. I haven't taken it to a drag strip. I would like to take it just to see what kind of uh, numbers it runs, and it's a blast to go on the track with it. Took it up to the firm in Gainesville. It did great. If you're planning to do a build, whether it be track, show, street. Don't make it your only car. Uh, it's the worst thing you can do because if it's in pieces and you have to go somewhere, it's just an anxiety fest. <laughs>